there are places on Earth where time moves differently. Where the canopy stretches beyond sight. Where the air hums with insects. And the ground speaks in roots. This is the Amazon. One of the last great wildernesses. Ancient. Wild. And alive. This forest is more than a place. It's a pulse. Each day, its trees release enough water vapour to form clouds. Vast, sky-stretching rivers of mist. These flying rivers drift across the continent, feeding rainfall far beyond the forest. And in return, the forest drinks from the skies, creating a cycle that has run uninterrupted for millennia. The Amazon is a beating heart. There are trees here that touch the clouds, taller than skyscrapers, older than cities. Each one is a tower of life. Vines spiral up their trunks like living rope. Orchids nest in their arms. Ants march along their bark, and birds sing from their crowns. Even in death, a fallen giant becomes a nursery, feeding the next generation. The forest is not static. It's a succession. A cathedral built of light and decay. For every creature we see, there are thousands we don't. Microscopic fungi trading nutrients between roots. Bacteria that break down leaves into soil. Frogs no larger than a fingernail. And tribes of monkeys who have never seen a road. The Amazon is not just diverse. There is a stillness here that cannot be described. A hush that comes between bird calls. A quiet broken only by the thrum of wings, or the breath of a passing sloth. It is in the silence that the forest speaks. Not in language, but in presence. A reminder that long before us, there was this. Long before cities, before engines, before stories were written down this forest stood. It has weathered ice ages, outlived empires, and evolved in perfect balance with the sky, the soil, and the seasons.
It asks for nothing but time. And here, time moves in circles, not straight lines. Water rises, then falls. Leaves decay, and then feed. A bird's cry echoes, then vanishes. Everything is returned. There is no waste. No rush. Only rhythm. A patience the modern world has forgotten. Too many? The Amazon is remote. But to the millions who live here? It is home. Generations have fished its waters, followed its flood cycles, and learned to read its seasons. They understand this forest speaks in light and shadow. In the rustle of leaves and the paths animals carve. In the taste of clean water. In the scent of rain before it falls. It is a language we once understood. One we must learn again. Because if we forget, the silence will be permanent. Roads appear, trees fall, fires spark. From above, scars stretch across green. From within, the rhythm shifts. This is not a forest untouched, but a forest in flux. And to understand what is at stake, we must first listen. Before we can talk about what's changing, we must first understand what we are at risk of losing. The Amazon is not just trees, it's everything. And it is where the story begins.